solving this uh, problem of next greater element. So this question has been asked in Amazon, in Adobe and various other tech giants. So the question goes like given an array of values uh, for each value produce the next greater element next element in the array which is greater than this. So like for example suppose for 8 the next number to the right is 13 which is greater than 8. For example for 3 the next greater element to the right is 8 ok and for uh, for this 3 the next greater element to the right is 13 while for this 13 there is no element towards the right so we'll have to give minus 1 as the next greater element so like for so the answer will be minus 1 for this 13 for this ok and 13 for this also and 8 for this and 8 for this ok so how we will go about doing this so the very naive approach the naive approach will be to actually uh, we run two loops this one for loop ok this for loop and then we have the next for loop ok one for loop will pick up each element and another for loop will advance through the array from the very next index and uh, check each element whether it is greater than this so as soon as we land an element that is greater than this so our answer is done so this is the very naive approach so the time complexity of this approach as we can see is o of n square okay and the space complexity is o of 1 now can we do better yes so we can use the uh, property of stack we can use the stack data structure to actually iterate over this uh, array from the right okay and we'll keep pushing values into the stack okay and uh, using that stack we'll do some we'll do some operations and then we'll get the next greater element so I will uh, what we'll do is that so suppose this is the stack okay this is initially empty okay so we will start iterating from the right element, rightmost element. So for 13, the answer is always minus 1. Okay, so this is done. This value we have got. We have got, okay. And then we will push 13. We will push 13 into the stack. Okay. Then we have next 3. Now we will check the top of the stack. If the top of the stack is greater than this current element, then the top of the stack is our answer. So we have got this 13 also and then we will also push 3. Okay. Okay. Next we have 8. And we will check 8 with the top of the stack. So is the top of the stack greater than 8? Of course not. So we will pop it up. Okay. So we will actually... So we will pop it up. Okay. And obtain the next element. Okay. So the next element we'll push is eight. Okay. So we but before pushing it, before pushing it, we'll actually keep popping as long as the stack top, as long as the stack dot top is actually less than our element element as long as the stack top is less than our element so we'll keep popping and as soon as we get an element which is greater than the uh, as soon as we get a stack top which is greater than the element so we'll stop or we'll also stop when the stack is empty 
but we, but in this case the stack is not empty so what we'll do is that uh, we will uh, so this is our stack top is greater than element so we will have 13 here and we will also push also push it okay so for one stack top is greater so our answer will be 8 so for this also we've got we have also this also we have got okay for 3 the stack top is greater so we will have 8 as the answer which is a stack top and will now suppose this uh, this this was actually 23 okay now for this 23 the answer for this will not be 8 will be minus 1 okay it should be minus 1 okay, because because next there is no greater element on the on the array to the right okay so we, we have got here 23 and uh, we'll check this element with the top of the stack and the top of the stack is lesser so we'll pop again we'll check 23 with 13 we'll compare and we'll see we'll compare using this equation and we'll see that this is less top, stack top is less will pop but we have hit the bottom of the stack so what we'll do our answer for this one is minus one and we'll push 23 to the stack but uh, since our operations all operations are over our array is over so our job is done. We'll now move to the code section. So here we have this coding section in GFG. This, uh, this coding will do in Python. So we have the array given. Okay, and the n number of elements. Okay. So now we'll we'll define a stack. And the stack in uh, Python can be done in multiple ways using DQ module, uh, DQ library, or using uh, collections. And also we can do using list. So we'll be employing a simple uh, simple technique of using list. And then we will have another array which will store uh, the values. These, these pink values will be stored in this, which will be ultimately returning. Now, what we need to do is that we need to, as we have seen, we need to iterate over this array from the right, so in a reverse manner. So in Python, how we iterate over a list in a reverse manner for i in, now suppose this is element for le in arr minus 1. So we know so this uh, this will uh, this will help us iterate over the array elements in a reverse fashion okay now what we'll do we'll, we'll use this equation a stack dot top is less than le so while stack top means minus one minus one is the stack top here stack minus one is less than le okay but what if length of stack is not equal to zero and so we need to make uh, need to follow both these criteria. okay uh, we will what we'll do until this is until this is true until this is true we'll actually pop out from the stack so what we'll do is that stack dot pop so stack dot pop is the is a list function which actually pops the rightmost element from the list okay so now we have arrived now there are two conditions here it can be that our stack is empty because this condition has failed or it can be that we have reached an element which is equal to or greater than this so actually we will uh, apply equal to because we don't want to collide here okay suppose we have uh, multiple uh, elements so like for like this for this example suppose we have all threes so for every three the next total element will not exist okay so answer will be minus one in that case okay so that is why the equality symbol here okay now we have to, this this will break out of this loop because of these two criteria only okay so how will uh, we'll check now if len of the stack is equal to equal to zero that means our answer has to be zero else else means this criteria has, fa has has failed that means we have the answer here our answer is the stack top okay and additionally we will also push the element this current element le will push to the stack okay stack dot append le and we have to return the reverse of the answer because when, when we are storing we are pushing this value first then we are pushing this value then we are pushing this value okay so ultimately our last will push the, this value so our answer has to be reversed okay so what we'll do again we will employ this uh, beautiful technique in, in Python language. Okay, so let us see if our solution is right. Okay, there's some er there is some error. 
okay so uh, i think uh, this this line this line has some error so line number 12 i am appending my pending 0 instead of pending minus 1 okay so let me see if it corrects our solution so let me see if it gets submitted okay so yes we are on to it yes so the submission is done okay so this is how we do we have uh, so our question was so let me let me give a summary our question was finding the next greater element in the stack for every element okay and uh, how we did so we started out with the names approach which is o of n square time complexity and o of uh, one space complexity so the space space and time complexity for this solution stack solution is o of n is the time complexity as we have seen and the space complexity is also o of n so we have optimized on our run time okay uh, so we are using a stack and we are pushing and uh, popping values based on some conditions these are the conditions okay as mentioned here we are reversing the we are reversing the uh, list we are re re reverse traversing the list and we are answer uh, returning the reverse of the answer.